In today's video, we're going to show you how to move your webcam source in OBS with just the touch of a button on your Stream Deck. Let's get right into it, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Craig, otherwise known as the Big Friendly Gamer Online. And today, we're going to show you how to move your camera source within OBS uh, around your screen into lots of different positions with just the touch of a button on your Stream Deck. So, it should look a little something like this. Nice and simple. Get it anywhere we want on the screen with just a few touches of a button. Let's get straight into it. First thing we're gonna do then is we're gonna install a plugin into OBS. Um, unfortunately, this does only work with the original OBS because Streamlabs OBS doesn't support plugins for some reason. Um, that's why OBS, the original, is better and always has been, don't at me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Google, we're gonna search for the Move Transition plugin for OBS, um, which will bring you through to this page right here. I will leave a link for this down in the description below so you don't have to go and search for it yourself. Um, we then need to get that downloaded and installed. So if you click on download up here in the top right, it will then come up with this option of which version you want to download. I always just go for the easy one, which is the Windows installer. Um, you can just get the Windows zip, which means you'll manually install it by dragging the files over. But the installer does it all for you. So get that one downloaded, run the file, and we can then head over to OBS. Okay then guys, we're here in OBS then. Uh, I've got a basic scene set up for us here, but it's just showing my, uh, my camera overlay and the desktop on my PC. So what we need to do is we need to add a move source filter onto the scene that we're using. So over here where we've got gameplay, this is our scene. We're going to right click, we're going to go into filters. And as you can see, I've already got loads of these set up in here. It's very important that you do it within the scene and you don't do it on the source, even though it's called a move source transition. Because uh, what you're basically doing is you're telling it to move the source within that scene. If you do it within an actual source, then one, it doesn't work on normal sources and otherwise it only works on groups and nested scenes, I think. Um, but then you end up moving items individually within those uh, groups or scenes and not moving the actual item that you want within the scene itself, if that makes sense. So as you can see here, I've already got a few set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the setup process for a new one. So if we go onto the little plus sign down here and click on move source, uh, we can call this one. We'll do one for center screen. Um, click OK. And then what it's going to do is it's going to ask you what source you want to be moving within this transition. So on here, we want to be doing our actual camera or for me, it's our camera border and alerts. That's this source right here. Um, it has my camera, it's got my camera border, and it's got my alerts baked into it, as well as my sub goal. If you want to know how to do that so that you can move all of them at the same time, let me know. It's about nested scenes, I can make a video about it, so just let me know down in the comments below. But that's not what this video is about, this one's about just moving them around the screen into any position that we want. So, what we need to do here is click on camera border and alerts, so that it knows which source we're actually going to be moving. Then we can scroll down a little bit, custom duration doesn't matter, the easing doesn't matter, that's just how it actually animates across the screen. This part is the important part right here, transform, so if I move this over for a second, right, and then what we need to do is we want to move, what is it, we need to move the source that we're focusing on into the position that we want it to, uh, to move to, so we said we were going to do it center, so let's just put that in the center screen right there, and then over on the filters, we need to click on get transform and what that's going to do is it's going to take a snapshot of where that is on the screen store it in memory so that when you push the button later on it'll remember where to send it and it'll do the animation to send it into that part of the screen okay then we can scroll down a little bit further here visibility in order doesn't really matter actions this is the other part that's very important so what we need to do is we need to set a start trigger and we're going to be using a filter toggle within the stream deck software so what we need to do is we need to set this to enable so that whenever the filter becomes enabled it'll do the move transition for us and everything will work okay so click on enable right there then if you guys go through and you repeat that process to set it up in whatever camera positions you want on your screen remember you're going to need to have at least two of these so that you can go backwards and forwards um, and then you can test them by clicking on the little eyes next to them here and you can see this just zooming around my screen and that's exactly what we want so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over on into the stream deck software so that we can go through how to actually do that within stream deck um, with just the push of a button and it will make it super super smooth super super professional on your stream so let's get into that okay then so here we are on the stream deck software um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the obs tools by bar raider installed so if you haven't already got that you just need to click on more actions down here in the right hand corner 
that'll bring up this uh this searchable little more actions bar in here if we put in obs tools then you just need to click on there will be an install button here for you guys obviously i've already got it installed click on that uh wait for that to do its thing close it back down and we should have obs tools bar radio installed it'll probably be at the bottom of the list for you guys because you've just installed it okay now that you've got obs tools by bar radio installed um, you're going to want to click on the little arrow to create the drop down list and we need to drag in a button for filter toggle all right so put that on your stream deck and then down here the first box you've got is title that's just going to be whatever comes up over the button so for our purpose we'll put that to center just so that we know what it is and then source name is the next box that has to mimic where you've actually attached the filter to so even though it says source we've actually attached it to a scene um, so the scene that we attached it to here is gameplay and it's very imperative that you spell that correctly so that's how the software is going to identify where to find the actual filter that you're looking for and then within filter name the next field we need to name that to the name of the filter what we named it so the one that we first made was center and then that's your first button set up now the easiest thing to do here is if you click back on this button um, press ctrl c to copy it click on a new button ctrl v to paste it then that means that your source name will already be pre-populated we can change the title so we'll do mid left as well um, and then change the filter name that we want to target with this one so if we call that mid left and then just repeat that process a few times Control v uh, we'll do i don't know top right as well change that to the one that we call top right and then we can head back into obs and double check that they work so back in obs now we've set up our buttons on the stream deck all we need to do now is we need to push the buttons and see whether they actually do what we've asked them to do so here's the center one yep that one goes to the center mid left that one takes it back to where it was originally top right zooms it all the way across the screen and then mid left takes it all the way back again so that's working just as we'd hoped now there is a little bit of a caveat with this some would call it a bug but it's working as it's intended it's just we're not using it the way that it's supposed to be because we're using the filter toggle within the stream deck software what it's actually expecting to do is turn it on and then back off but because of the way that the move transition plugin works it actually turns it on and then automatically turns itself back off so once you've used it once within your stream um you will have to press the button twice to get it to go back that's just something to be aware of it doesn't take long to get used to now that i've already done all of these i'm for example i'm having to press it twice to go to top right twice to go to center twice to go to mid left just something to keep in mind in case you start going it worked once and then it didn't work again just keep pressing the button it'll work trust me but yes there you have it guys that is how to move your webcam around on your streams on your stream screen oh god that's hard to say on your stream screen if you found this video useful today please remember to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any future content um if you haven't already as well i'd really appreciate it if you come check me out over on twitch the link for that is going to be on screen and it'll be in the description below twitch.tv forward slash big friendly gamer we're playing a lot of valorant over there at the moment um so if you play that please come on by and we can play some games together if you don't play that come on by anyway and say what's up let me know that the video helped you out i'd really appreciate it a lot um but until next time guys take care remember to stay positive stay healthy and as always be friendly my guys all right